And now we're going to talk to another guest. We've got David Suter from Richfield Academy on, head of admissions. How are you doing today, David? Great. Good morning, guys. How are you? Doing great. You've got the smell of the uh, the ribs here right in our face. You can't. <laughs> we're sorry for the distraction. <laughs> yeah, uh, you can't go wrong with barbecue yeah. on a Saturday. Not too bad. So what's going on with uh, Richfield Academy? I believe you guys just turned 40 years old this past year. We did. We just celebrated our 40th year. Uh, been here on our West Mountain uh, Road campus That's here a beautiful for, campus. for 15. Uh, blessed by the view into yeah. New York. And, uh, it's one of the best views in Richfield. I've always said that. 42 great acres. So uh, it's a great place to come visit. We uh, have opened it up to summertime uh, evening running for uh, some parents and kids that want to come through. And we run a lot of programs for the community there. It's uh, just a great space. And it's K through 8 or pre-K through 8? Yeah, yeah. We have a preschool campus there uh, that's landmark preschool. And then the K-8 program is Richfield Academy. And uh, uh, about 300 kids all together. Awesome. Yes, sir. And you have a digital arts program that's just outstanding. I remember I did a story when I was working for the press. Talk, us, talk a little bit about that space and what all the things that people can create there. Sure. So a handful of years ago, the uh, Board of Trustees and our head of school created a space called The Bridge. And the idea was to bridge uh, technology with traditional subject areas in a little bit different uh, interdisciplinary way than, than maybe you and I grew up with in school where technology was its own silo. Of course, now we're, we're in an age where it's uh, right. ubiquitous, and so the idea is to teach uh, uh, technology in, in the context of the subject areas. So the bridge is about 5,000 square feet uh, of area where uh, kids can uh, execute uh, uh, digital arts projects uh, that reflect their history curriculum, their arts curriculum, health, uh, so on and so forth. It's, it's just a tremendous space. We were uh, very fortunate to get it off the ground. Uh, good folks at Jacob Burns, uh, and, and now we're, we're running uh, not only our curriculum through there, but uh, we also have uh, club programs after school. Uh, just a great space. Now, now the K through eight program. I mean, it's uh, t tell us what tell us what draws parents to a place like Ridgefield Academy because you know we are in the town of Ridgefield, a, t uh, a town that is known for its educational system. But but what what is it about Ridgefield Academy that parents will send their children there? Yeah, great question. Uh, so no ma no matter the. Uh, uh, the area with a, with a public-private uh, conversation. Uh, you know, we're very fortunate that the independent school uh, schools are mission-driven, and so that's that's going to be different right off the bat in the public sector. Uh, we also are fortunate that we have a, a smaller uh, teacher-to-student ratio. Uh, maybe Is it than nine they, to than one? Yeah, we're we're yeah. Uh, we're nine to one in our lower school and in, in our middle school and, and upper school, which would be uh, grades four through eight. You're going to be looking at class sizes that are roughly 12 to 15 kids. Uh, so parents are looking for rigorous academics. Uh, they're looking for uh, uh, good skill development, ca character development, uh, and the opportunity for kids to uh, be a part of sports and, and drama as a part of their regular uh, academic program for the kids. So um, it, it's, it's a different, uh, different program, different culture, different uh, type of academic experience for families. And you've been a big switch, I believe, when I was doing the story to the sciences, too, right? That was something that you guys weren't exactly covering, but that you've emphasized even more over the years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, for folks uh, staying in, in touch with uh, issues of the day, STEM, yeah. uh, you know, science, technology, engineering, and math. That kind of uh, goes off the whole bridge idea. Th that's exactly right. right. And, and how you integrate uh, STEM into your curriculum. Uh, so, you know, our, you use the 42... Uh, uh, acres of campus as an example, you know, you come onto campus and, you know, we've tapped the trees and uh, we're using uh, the Tinker Lab as a, as a place for, for little kids to uh, uh, to work on STEM uh, uh, concepts. And, uh, uh, you know, you find that the kids are extraordinarily engaged with their academic program. Uh, it's not sort of that, that cumbersome, you know, we've, we've right. got to get through this uh, mandated curriculum. Uh, it's, it's teacher uh, relationships that mean a lot. Uh, it's a small community that means a lot, and, and that's why our families are so happy. David, uh, sounds great. Now, how can people find out more about the school? Yeah. Website? Thank you, thank you. Uh, www.ridgefieldacademy.org, uh, uh, or you can call me at 203-894-1800, and um, extension 112. There you go, personal right. line. That's direct, direct <laughs> to me, anytime, right. anytime. David, thanks, thanks guys. so much great for to meet coming you. on. Thanks very much. Great. Thank you, All nice right. to thank meet you. you.